Hello to all. Welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can perform the multiple criteria overlay analysis in QGIS. So, in order to perform this exercise, we will try to identify the areas to build a new parking facilities that can help in reducing bicycle theft. And the criteria for our site selection is that the proposed area must be in a bicycle theft hotspot and it should be within the 50 meters of the bicycle route and it should not be within the 50 meters from an existing bicycle parking facility. And for this exercises, we are going to use uh, the bi bicycle infrastructure data for Westminster Borough London City. So let's begin. So we have opened our uh, QGIS and already opened the data set. So we are using three vector layers. One is the cycling route and that is the uh, cycle parking, which is the point data set. Then the shape file of polyer shape file of the Westminster borough area and the raster of cycling theft heat maps. So which uh, this information shows the hotspot uh, where the cycle theft occurring more often. So these, uh, first of all, we'll just change the color of all the necessary inputs. I'll, and for the heat map, I'll just select a. Uh, so uh, now I can see that there are some hotspot area. For example, these are some hotspot area, which is uh, uh, at particular point, which is has a higher number of cycle theft reported. So, uh, first of all, the thing that we want to extract these hotspot area where uh, the cycle theft is more often into the vector format. So, first of all, we will go to the processing toolbox and we will search for raster calculator. And under the raster analysis, there is option raster calculator. We will just open this. Then there is one cycle theft heat map and we will give a criteria. Uh, so here the values are ranging from 1 to 28. So we are taking, for example, 12. You can take as much as you want, like 15, 10. And the reference layer that we want to provide is same as, as it is the cycle theft heat map. And the output layer we are not saving as a permanent layer. We will just save to a temporary file and click run. So the resulting raster is nothing but a Boolean map with a value of 0 and 1. 1 is the value where our criteria meet. That means uh, cycle theft is more than 12. And the black is the place where the cycle theft is less than 12. So next thing that we want to do is to extract this O1 area in a vector format. So for that, there is an option known as polygonize in the JDAL tool. So if you type polygon and go to the JDAL, there is a function known as polygonize raster to vector. So in the input layer, we will provide output. That means our output Boolean map and click run. So uh, I'll just uncheck this both raster layer. So now we have created a one vector layer where if you just open the attribute table, we have two type of values, one and zero. One is our targeted hotspot location. So we want to extract only the vector for polygon, which has the value one. So for that, there is an option known as extract by attribute. So in the vector selection, there is an option extract by attribute. And we will select vectorized. And the attribute is DN, which is equal to one. And click run. I'll just close this. And I'll just remove all the unnecessary output. So now uh, if I just uncheck this route and cycle. So these are the hotspot area where the uh, cycle theft is more than uh, 12 okay, as per the heat map. So these are uh, the desired locations for the proposed location. Next thing that we want to do is uh, want to create the buffer of this cycle route that uh, one of the criteria is that it should be 50 meters within the cycle route. So we will create a buffer around this line and it should not be uh, within the 50 meter of already parking uh, spots. So we will also create a buffer around these parking spots. So what we will do, uh, we will search for buffer. So under the vector geometry, there's an option buffer. So first of all, we will provide for cycling routes and we will give the distance 
50. Please make sure that it should be in meters. Okay, and I'll just click run. So a buffer layer has been added. I will again go to the parameter and this time I'm going to select uh, cycle parking and this time also the buffer is 50 meters because it is uh, our own criteria you can select 100 or as per your desired output i'll just click run so now we can see that uh, we have two buffered layers uh one is this uh, parking spot so i'll just change the name you can change the name by pressing f2 so this is the parking buffer and next buffer layer is the route buffer so i'll just press f2 route buffer you can also change the name by right click over this and click on the properties and change the ray name uh, so these are all the temporary layers i will not save them permanently uh, i'm going to save the permanent layer which is the final layer so next thing that we want to do is uh, uh, go to the intersection command And under the vector overlay, there is a command intersection. And in the intersection, we are uh, going to provide two things. Uh, uh, one is the hotspot, that means extracted one. And next is the uh, route buffer. And I'll just click run. So I'll just uncheck only the output thing. And let's see what the output denotes. So these are the output, uh, which is a co common intersection point of the hotspot area where the value is more than 12 as well as the uh, route buffer. So where uh, all these two layers are intersecting. So this particular vector layer is the result of that two particular intersection. Now uh, we want to, so these are um, our uh, the area for the proposed site now we want to eliminate the area which is come uh, which are coming uh, 15 meters within the already parking zone so these are already parking uh, points are there and this is the buffer of the parking so we can see that some portion of this particular polygon has to be eliminated and for that we are going to use the difference so there is a command known as difference in the vector overlay and in the input layer, we are going to provide the intersection and the overlay layer, we are going to provide parking buffer and click run. And we are going to uncheck all of this. So uh, these are the few polygons which are the, uh, which is our final result. That means uh, most appropriate uh, proposed spot for the uh, cycle parking, which is uh, as per our criteria. So that's it for the day. Hope you uh, like this video. If so, and if you found this video informative, then please hit the like button, uh, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.